just were comfortable on that in the floor the whole time. Like, what, what did you see there on wise of defense, especially giving up so many comfortable looks from three? Yeah, it started off early. You know, um, no physicality. I think we started the game with the physicality. Um, and they got comfortable, like you said, early in the game, you know, making threes. Um, Tobias got to a spot a couple times, made a three. Um, and then Kelly, you know, he made a couple of threes to kind of get them going with the momentum. And so I thought we did a good job starting off with the blitz with Maxie. Um, but then we gave him a couple of re offensive rebounds, which they scored on. And just, you know, our physicality to start the game with a defensive mindset, you know, it wasn't great tonight. And so they got comfortable, they made shots, and now you're fighting uphill all night. Just to, just to follow up, like, y'all did eat up that deficit that, that y'all had um, tied in the middle of the third quarter. Then they built a bigger one. Uh, what happened uh, between uh, you guys being able to come back and then somehow, uh, just objectively speaking, uh, playing worse after you tied it uh, than when they built the first lead? Yeah, uh, we had some turnovers, which we talked about. They got out in transition, got some easy baskets. And then we had a couple, you know, questionable shots for our shot selection, whether we got fouled or not. And they was able to get back. We didn't have good floor balance, and they got shots as well. You know, and then we also scored, tied the game up, and um, came back and Buddy you got a three on the main basket. We didn't get matched up. And so those things are just paying attention to detail and understanding what we need to do. And Coach, uh, it seemed like Cam and Tyrese, when they were on the floor together, together, gave you guys problems all night. They were able to get to the paint, find open looks. Why was it so difficult for you guys to contain both of them when they were on the floor specifically together? Yeah, I thought their speed hurt us. You know, being able to attack the paint, um, point of attack defense of getting downhill, and then making plays. And so once they get downhill, you got to react. So Zeus coming over, now you're in the X situation. We got to get to the corners. Now they swing, swing, and drive again. And you just constantly in rotations. And so if your point of attack defense isn't great, like I said, with some speed guards, they're going to get downhill and put a lot of pressure on your defense. Ty, uh, today and the Atlanta game were kind of very similar in a lot of ways uh, for you guys. This month has been a tough month for you guys as well. Is this a worrying trend that you've seen out of the team in terms of the last few games where they haven't picked up the physicality out of the gates, as you said? Um, yeah, I just think our mindset, we can't fall victim of, you know, being tired or what the schedule is. Like, you know, we know we got to play better basketball going into the playoffs or it's going to be a, you know, early season. And so, you know, still got full confidence in this team and, you know, full confidence in what we can do, you know, and just I'm um, going out and doing it, you know, every single night, you know, not 32 minutes like we talked about, not 26 minutes, like 48 minutes of doing the right things, doing the right coverages, not having as many game plan mistakes getting back in transition. I think they might have had 18 points in transition in the first half, you know, the way we charted, you know, so that's not good enough. And so we just got to be better in that regard. Uh, Coach, um, sorry to follow up with the negative question. Sorry. Right. negative question. Go ahead. Don't worry about in, it. In, in, in it's negative, the, so you can, you can follow up as many as you want. <laughs> in sort of the same vein, you guys are playing for home field or home court advantage, obviously, in the playoffs, but you've really struggled at home lately. Is that also a worrying trend for you? or? Now that you're getting healthy, can you turn that around and be confident about that? Well, maybe we need to start on the road there. Maybe. As a positive, we did have Norm back in the game today. Can you just speak about his performance and, you know, how imperative it is to have him in the lineup? Yeah, it's important having Norm, you know, offensively, you know, be able to make shots, be able to space the floor, uh, be able to get down, he'll attack the basket, but also get into the free throw line. And so um, he's very valuable to what we want to do. Um, and so, you know, there's going to be nights where, you know, you struggle shooting the basketball like we have, like Justin said early on, like I think 28th in the league since January of making open catch and shoot threes, you know. So if you're not making shots, your defense definitely has to be on point. And um, we haven't been very good defensively. And um, if we want to take that next step, we got to be better. Hey, Coach, a uh, question. When um, Harden seems to be the guy getting going early, it seems to just stunt PG a little bit. And then when he can get going, it seems like the offense picked up. And that's when you guys did make your run and take the lead of 73 uh, to 79. And then it felt like that it went away from PG. Is that something schematically you guys are working on to get Harden going early? Or is it just the flow of the game and just guys just kind of filling out what just, the defense is giving them? Yeah, just the flow of the game. You know, um, I thought James had a good rhythm, you know, pick and roll wise early on. And so, mm -hmm. Uh, we want to take a, take advantage of that. You know, Kawhi has to go in the post. The teams are not going to double. We want to take advantage of that. And then PG, you know, catch and shoot, pick and rolls, you know, isos or whatever. And so um, when you have three dynamic players, you know, offensively, then it just kind of goes by the floor of the game. 
Hi, Coach. Uh, one thing about you, I never get nervous about stuff that you, you always figure it out, number one. But I want to ask you about um, the blitzing. Do you think it's positive, like seeing the blitzes early, seeing Paul get blitzed, seeing Kawhi get blitzed, seeing James get blitzed, all of them getting blitzed at the same time? Do you think it's a positive seeing that so early to be able to adjust to that for when playoff time does come? I think it's a positive. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you can put two on the basketball, that means it's four on three on the backside. And so you're going to be able to get layups, threes, or you're going to be able to get closeout opportunities. And so tonight, you know, um, we didn't handle the blitz very well. You know, um, we didn't make the right pass. We didn't get off of it fast enough. You know, we blitzed Tyrese, and he got off of it quick. And then it has in scramble mode. And we take, you know, we try to beat it, try to split it, try to, you know, just make the simple pass. And so it's something we've been drilling for four years, and they understand, they know it. But we didn't do a good job handling the blitz tonight. And Coach, one more for me. Um, you used the word bad habits and you guys staying consistent and stuff like that. When your guys aren't playing well and you and they're a veteran team, how frustrating does it become for you, or you and your coaching staff to when guys know what they're supposed to do, but they consistently have errors within the game and they're being taught over and over again. How frustrating is it for a guy like yourself who knows how to coach, know what it takes to get to the highest level to win a championship. Your guys know what it takes. How frustrating is it for you specifically? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's very frustrating. You know, I'm, I'm huge on execution, yeah. you know, on both sides of the basketball. And, you know, we talk about it every day, just, you know, not taking shortcuts and doing it the right way. Mm -hmm. And so I think they're frustrated as well. I mean, it's it's embarrassing, you know, when you lose the teams like this. I'm not saying they don't have great players over there, but and Nick Nurse is a great coach. But when you come in, you know, minus – you know, Joel Embiid and, you know, Nico sits out tonight, Roko's out, Kyle Lowry sits out, um, and you're playing at home. Like, you have to take advantage of those type of things and type of games. And so, um, you know, it is frustrating, you know, showing the same thing over and over and um, not getting the results you want consistently. You know, I would say that consistently getting the same, you know, not getting the results every single game. And so, um, you know, you keep talking about it, but at some point you got to do it. You know, so um, that's it. That's all I got to say. Last one, Jess. You, you mentioned at some point you got to do it rather than just talk about it. I'm kind of curious, in the game, when they're not executing the way that you want them to and talking to them over and over and showing them that what they're doing wrong isn't getting through to them as much as you probably like, what other steps can you take to kind of get the message? Or is it as big as sitting a guy down for a minute or two to kind of make sure he sees someone else doing it, something like that? Um, yes, possibly. Is it something that, I know it's a nuclear option, so to speak, but is it something that you would do in the future to kind of get it Well, through? I mean, they're grown men, and they understand, like, we're a veteran team. It's not like, you know, we're playing with second and third year players. And so I'm never the type of guy that wants to show a player up or showing if they're making a mistake. Um, I, I'd rather not do that, because now it's a story for you guys. You know, but, I mean, they understand what the fuck, I mean, <laughs> they understand what they're supposed to be doing. And far by can write all his little, you know, little jokes and little, you know what I'm saying? But they understand, like, and so, you know, we just gotta do better. You know, we just gotta do better, you know, all around the board. But we understand, if they come up here in the next the two, three guys you interview, they're gonna say the same thing. And so, um, I don't know what to tell you, Justin, but like I said, I feel good about this team. I feel confident, you know, and just got to wake the hell up, you know, and be ready to go do stuff hard. Um, we've been practicing every day, shoot arounds every day, you know, and so they understand. So let's, let's, it's time to start getting the ball rolling. And, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks.